know, alhamdulillah, we've heard the story, uh, your youth growing up, inshallah. But what I wanted to ask is, how do you now navigate through, you know, people asking you questions, they want to meet you, they want to sit with you. Some even may ask for your contact details. How do you navigate through all of this? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You can drop my number down, inshallah, guys. And uh, it's fine. They can be in contact. It's okay. Mashallah. No, no, no. On a more serious note, my beloved brothers and sisters, that's a very, very interesting question. As time has passed, obviously responsibilities have grown. Uh, more and more people are aware of the work that I do. But I think what people need to remember is I'm not the only person on earth that they could actually get help from. And I'm a human being with a very limited capacity. So I won't be able to meet everyone. I won't be able to talk to everyone personally. I won't be able to communicate with everyone and so on. In fact, it's just a small number of people. How would you expect me to meet the thousand odd who are here this evening? It would require four hours minimum. And I think in the excitement, people forget that it becomes so difficult and it's really exhausting. I give it my utmost. I do the best I can and then I have to have a cutoff. So sometimes people feel offended when I haven't given the time or as a human being, I've got to excuse myself. Or if I say I won't be able to, one of the sneakiest things to do is just to meet me randomly somewhere and say, uh, sorry, Sheikh, what's your number? And you're holding your phone like I'm going to just say it, you know? So what we've done is we have an admin's number. That's the number that will go out. And then if it is felt that I need and it's only me who can solve the matter and so on, perhaps it might get to me. From the emails I receive, I can only respond a few to a few a day. Admin responds to some. I would respond to some. Sometimes it's uh, diverted to me. If it's a follow-up email, perhaps I would get to see it. It becomes very difficult because I don't want to go into numbers, but in the thousands, there are similar requests every day from so many mosques, so many organizations, so many charities, so many people, and all of them are good causes, and everyone means well. But as a human, we are so restricted. So I also wait for Jannah to say that, inshallah, there, there will be no limits, no restrictions. You, can, you won't even need my number because you just have to think about it. I think about it and next best thing we're talking, mashallah. So it is very difficult. And uh, one of the worst things, if I can say it, is to take pictures of others while they're eating. That for me is very offensive. If we're eating, you know, we're... Uh, I, I, I don't eat more than once a day, basically, on most days. And, you know, you're stuck into your food and sometimes you have a morsel, you're chewing, and some people are busy taking pictures or videos while you're eating. I think that's rude. Secondly is when a person's with his family, give them their space. It's okay. From a distance, you can acknowledge, you can see. If not, pray, pray for them and move on. Not just me, even others. Be considerate. They're with their family. It's time because... Uh, you're asking me how I navigate. I can tell you my family finds it even more difficult sometimes because a simple, you know, going out to the shops. Yes, if I'm alone, it's okay. But if, if I have my family with, at least respect them, you know. You can say, Salam Alaikum and move on. But now every other person wants to stop you and, and then they say this guy is arrogant because now he's a, he thinks he's a big deal because, look, he's very famous. No, that's not true. I think you're not being considerate. The man's a human being. He has a very limited capacity and he's stretched it to its limit. Now give him his time as well. And that's why people say, oh, you're driving. I say, yeah, I, I like to drive myself. Oh, but you know, we can take you. I can do it. I say, no, that's the whole thing. I'm running away from people taking me because I don't want to talk all the way. I want to be on my own, my me time, think, re reflect, do my own dhikr, whatever else it may be. So it's really difficult. If you don't get a number, uh, don't be offended. If you send an email and you don't get a response, inshallah, try some other scholars. Try a different channel. Don't hold it against me. Uh, because honestly, it becomes extremely difficult, not because I don't want to, because I just can't cope. It's, you're a human being.
I think it's fair to say that there's many ways of trying to get in contact with you, inshallah, and we hope for the best. But you know, you mentioned families. But before you say that, many ways of getting hold of me, but you don't have to get hold of me in the sense that, alhamdulillah, you can get hold of someone else. And your, your job would still be done, perhaps. And if you really feel it's extremely important, then you can try. Inshallah, it, it may happen. I mean, sometimes miracles do happen, a lot of the times. And you end up seeing something and giving it importance and you realize, wow, alhamdulillah, I thank Allah, I didn't miss this. And I must have missed so many brilliant opportunities, but it's all in, in Allah's hands. I mean, we try our best. You were saying?